enjoying this nice 1.0 release of Peglu. Sally! Thank you very much. How you doing, Sally? Go back to trying to bring other people onto the... Random debuff. Baladin. Bulwark equal number of orbs in your deck. Can't decide what you're going to have for dinner. I'm going to have burritos for dinner. I don't know if that helps you decide. <clears throat> Let's do a nice rounds run. Get him on the Crucible. We're really stacked up on the main character, but we need to work on this guy. Every coin collected during navigation is worth four. Wall bounces contribute to damage. You have plus one orb discards. <coughs> hmm. Don't have sausage? Oh no. Let's take extra discard. Obviously this is a character built around debuffs. I would like more debuffs. As many debuffs to get my debuffy little hands on. Next time you find yourself in a Costco, Sally, they have a very good uh, Karage, which <laughs> comes out really good in the uh, the air fryer. Get that money. Aw, that was enough money. Save that next bomb for when we have the other two slimes out. Good, good. Never seen a Costco donut air fryer. I only just opened this air fryer. I got it like a hundred years ago for Christmas. I was like, you know what? Now's the time. Terrible throw, terrible throw, but good enough. It'll work. Asking for a coffee grinder for Xmas? Nice. Having a nice coffee grinder is good. If you are a slave to the bean like I am. There we go. Cheeky little refresh, throw the bomb out. Really? One whole hit point? Well, with transparency at the very least, it's not the huge waste it could have been. He was brambled. I want money. I want that gold. Hades cheese got me hooked on the Joe. <laughs> If it doesn't apply a particular status effect, we don't want it. Every two exclamation marks triggers exploitable. I mean, that is that is a debuff. I'll take it. I'm hoping it can pierce enemies. It can target any enemy. Ah, good enough. Grab it. Let's see. We got a shop here. I'm thinking we do a fight, an event, hit up the shop, hit up an elite, get a chest, get another elite, swing down for another chest. That's like the most relics I think we can get. So I'm going to save some money because we have a shop not too far away. We want to go to the right so we can make a little extra dosh. It's hoping to hit one other one. Need to make some money. <coughs> Thank God I'm by, because I fuck with Joe and I marry Jane. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Very good, I like it. It's those kind of jokes that'll get you far in this organization. You're going places. Can we send out the other slime? I want to hit all, a bunch more bombs. But after we get more money. Like, I'm okay taking some damage. I just want to get some, some coinage here. Ah, oh, we just killed everything. More, more cash, though. There we go. Pocket. Oh, 50 was the number we were looking for. Gain Belusion. Apply Blind. I mean, Spin Faction's really good, but there's better things we can get for Spin Faction. Again, I want to hold on to some cash. Left or right, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> hmm. Piece of candy, huh? So, as I mentioned, the the current snack box that my family signed me up for from a birthday way back is from Africa currently. So we have Masari's Potato Crisp, Cape Fruit Chutney Flavor. What is a cape fruit? I don't know. I have no idea what a cape fruit is. But this is Cape Fruit Chutney. A chutney. I mean, you're gonna get some transparency because of uh, green but potato crisps. What the hell's a cape fruit? That is weird. That is weird. You don't know what chutney is. Chutney is kind of like a... A saucy, dippy thing that's made by chopping up a bunch of stuff. Googling cape fruit has been fruitless. Yeah, between a jam and a sauce. Oh, that's weird. It's like savory, but there's some sweet in there. It's savory and sweet. These, these chips were first manufactured by Grandpa Masari who came to South Africa in 1892. Today, the company is still run by the family who maintain the grandpa's dedication to homemade taste and quality. Is chutney normally savory or sweet? I would say most of the chutneys I've had are sweet but they're usually applied to a savory. Like the first chutney I ever had was a... I, I weirdly remember. It was 2007. I was at a brewery that just opened with my family. They were visiting me while I was still in college. And I had a burger that had a, a mango chutney on there. It was great, very tasty. But, like, every time I've run into chutney, it has been a somewhat sweet chutney that's paired with a savory food. And that's what this is giving me here. It's like a potato chip. Do you dip it on things? Dip things in it or spread it? I've had it both ways. I've had it as a dip, and I've had it as a, like, addition to a burger or a sandwich. 
That's a weird, that's... I'm excited to, like, give this to the housemates and have them try it, because Andrew's gonna love this. This is gonna be Andrew's favorite. Alright, we got a strange mirror with sh shadows flickering in the reflection. We could duplicate a random orb or all of our orbs. I didn't want this. Like, this is this is the least, least desirable thing for me to run into. Love how chill this game is. Fall <laughs> fell asleep plenty of times listening to people play it. It's quite chill, but it's a lot of fun. Random orb, it's gonna be a stupid pebble. Boo! If you're ever in like a burger joint or a brewery or something that has like burgers and you see one that has a chutney involved, give it a try. Indian guacamole, got it. Common Indian ones are tamarind chutney, mint chutney, and chili garlic chutney. I've had some good chutneys. Aimer's longer. When an enemy hits you, you blind them. Increase your max health by 15. Whenever the boards refresh, deal damage to all enemies equal to the number of pegs restored. I do love the filibuster, it's quite good. Spinfection to all enemies. Mint sounds awful. Mint chutney is great depending on what you're eating it with. Like lamb with mint chutney is incredible. Anything lamb pairs well with mint. And then remove a stupid ball. Now we want to go left. Ooh. Then left again, please. You think of it as more of a thin salsa. I guess I've never... All of my situations where I encounter Chutney are not dipping situations. They're always like, place it on something. So I haven't thought of it as a salsa, but that's because it hasn't been paired with, like, dippables very much. You're hungry, but you got 1,400 calories for the day? You gotta have stuff on hand that are... basically free calories that you can just munch on. Like stupid celery and garbage like that. That's not a lot of food. Yeah, I don't think I could work on uh, that amount. Had an egg sandwich for breakfast, but I'm already starving. Then again, I had that a lot earlier than I'm used to at this point, didn't I? Ever since my family got me a rice cooker, I've started disliking potato chips. Really? You got a rice cooker and now you don't like potato chips? Tell me more, explain. Rice cooker, one of my favorite appliances. I adore rice. Rice is life. Yeah, apples and peanut butter are a great combination. Now that I think about it, my egg sandwich was like almost 12 hours ago at this point. I guess it makes sense that I'm hungry. So the rice cooker is more of a coincidental thing. It's not that you got a rice cooker and that made you not want potato chips anymore. Just around that time is when you stop being into potato chips. Is that accurate? Oh yeah, rice cakes would be a good one for low calorie snacks. Hummus is good. I do like hummus.
Spring rolls might be a nice thing to make. I feel like spring rolls low calorie but filling. And easy to make. Upgrade. Elite. I was about to risk, like, oh, two more coins. No, just go for the elite. Learn from yesterday. Let's say I make some average American white rice. I toss in a teaspoon of salt and olive oil. Get the same salty food craving. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, the desire is covered by just having somewhat, all, somewhat uh, salty oil rice. Salty, starchy oil, yeah, yeah. No, it's not bullhorns, it's a ball sack. All right, we tickle the ball sack. We trace lovingly the entire outline of the ball sack. Like so. And that's how you do a good damage. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tickle the ball sack. Them is titties. You know, I had to consider it as a a weighty a weighty bosom, but I could see that too. Hoji Busa. Oh, you got more willpower than I, Creedmoor. I'm a flavor first kind of dude. Each crit triggered causes this ore to pierce an additional enemy up to a max of one. Max of two. Max of three. But, again, I'm prioritizing status effects for this one. So let's just upgrade that guy. Makes as much sense as always. The ball sack theory. Orbs start with five pegs worth of damage. Every 30 pegs hit is converted to a bomb. Haven't had the safety net before, let's take that. Alright, we want to go... Left or right, doesn't matter really. What's important is that we hit a chest and then an elite. And then one more chest toward the end. So, uh, we'll just grab, grab some cash. Get some coinage. Looks like we're going right! <clears throat> That's fine, that's alright. I'd love to remove more orbs. The weekend I was home with COVID, I ate a redacted number of cans of Pringles. It was glorious. I gotta find these stupid new, uh... Coke-flavored Oreos and Oreo-flavored Coke. I, ga I gotta experience this nightmare. I crave terrible novelty snacks. That's what I crave. The stupider, the better. Alright, everyone's out of their holes, it's time for bombs. Bombs and poison. No! Is 
They're all just lining up to beat me to death with their swords. Still full for dinner, something are making me hungry. Thanksgiving candy corn a couple years ago? Yes, I've also had the Jones soda. Every one of the sodas in the pack tastes like a different Thanksgiving thing. I've had the taco truck fucking jelly beans that were released years back. I I I live for that kind of trash. They're always bad. <coughs> Chance to avoid attack. How was the candy corn? Uh, it wasn't bad, really. Like, some of them were bad, but mostly it was fine. Like, candy corn tasted like candy corn. Not candy corn. Cranberries taste like cranberries. Pumpkin pie tastes like pumpkin pie. Uh, the savory ones were a little like... I could see what they're going for, but it didn't really taste like it. So not 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 my favorite. The Jones soda was like horrifying, though. That's the one that scarred me a bit. Because that was a liquid, and you like take a sip, and you're like, I don't like that I'm drinking a turkey right now. It tastes too much like a turkey. I'm upset. Collected money contributes to damage. Elite. Alright, we're we're not doing great on health. The food on Candy Valley? Yeah, a little bit. I've tried many a, a Uncanny Valley food item in my day. Good height on that bounce. Missed the bomb, of course. <laughs> Good, it's important to treat yourself. Apparently my next door neighbor back in New York does grow like Carolina Reapers and stuff. Man likes his, his spicy foods. When I was out in my backyard, in New York. I heard a weird noise and I looked looked the next door. He was on his like second story balcony with a slingshot taking pot shots at squirrels. I don't know how I feel about that. Ah, just missed. I like squirrels, so I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Bang! Hey, doubles the amount of spin faction on the enemy. That'd be nice for boss fights. What's going on, Gasso? Hmm. Upgrades are kind of boring for it, though. It's your birthday? Happy birthday, Gasso. Grab a cheeky little upgrade there. Your Belusion cap is increased to 300. Each crit triggered for projectile attacks caused them to pierce an additional enemy. Yes. I probably should have taken the exclamation mark, but that's too good to pass up. What are you doing for your birthday? Got any fun plans? My Twitch category isn't set? Ugh. What the heck?
I definitely told it to be Peglin last time. No plans, just how I like it. Well, if you want any particular uh, game streamed in celebration of your birthday, it's a little too late for today. Shoot me a message in Discord. We can we can make something happen. It is part of your your subscriber points. After all. much pressure you doing something fun you better be doing something fun if you're not doing something fun I might just do something crazy <laughs> like whoa, whoa suck on poison losers ba boo ba boo ba boo ba Come on, get the crit. Yes! That's two piercings. Can't wait till May to make you play WoW. See, I have to have access to it. I don't have access to WoW. Unless they made it free or something. That's what keeps me safe. Is sometimes people are like, you should play blank for my birthday. I'm like, I don't own it. The only rule is I need to have access to it. Fight Crab 2. We've played Fight Crab 2. We played a lot of Fight Crab 2 in that first game. Right? Uh, left or right don't matter. So we'll just try and grab a little extra dash. Not bad. It's like coworkers asking, do you do anything fun over the weekend? Clearly just wanting to share their own adventures. Fuck off, don't make me explain my geeky, geeky quiet predilections. <laughs> my favorite is like, people at work know that I work on the weekend, and sometimes they'll be like, do anything fun over the weekend? Yeah, I worked. I worked over the fucking weekend. Like, what the hell kind of question is that? You know I'm here on Friday and fucking Saturday. Did I have a fun Sunday? Is that your question? <laughs> Go to hell. Hmm. Eighty-two gold for the golden orb. I might want to hold on to the money. If we had less money, I would. I would totally take it. But I'm not spending eighty-two on it. Twenty-five damage. <laughs> Where's the boss fight? Really close. I'll spend fifteen to upgrade something. hungry for more so even hungry now nah, I'm good do 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 come on something good prevent the first time you would take lethal damage I suppose that's fine Alright, boss, let's go. Gotta make all that money back we just lost to upgrading those orbs. A good opening hit right there. Come on, baby. Nice. Do, 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 do. Trash that in favor of this. Ah, oh, that's fine. You know, not doing anything is great. At least we got exploitable on there. Yeah, nice vines, loser. Nice miss, dummy. Hey. Hello there, tasty. 
on this character, I think we're on the beginning of Crucible. On the default character, we're on Crucible 8. But I decided to stop climbing Crucible on that character to start working on the other characters a bit. So not terribly high on the Crucible for this one. Looking good. Ah, oh. you're at 15 with this guy. I do like this character. Debuffs are a lot of fun. Give me the old razor. Nice miss. The refreshes are all underneath the vines. That's fine. Pretty sure he's dead now. Oh, almost, almost. Eight whole damage we need to do. And he's dead. Be upgraded any number of times, add exploitable. It would be nice to have more spin faction. Just want to throw these all in the trash. And let's get a little more spin faction. Upgrade it once. Hold on to some money just in case a shop shows up early. All orbs get morbid, but the board contains half as many refreshes. Every shot is plus one multiball, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Every three pegs hit provides explosive force. I do like both of these. Like, if we're going for debuffs, but Troishka doll is not bad. <laughs> mm, let's go with explosive force. Keep him bouncing around a long time. Forest complete. Right hand side is looking pretty tempting down there. Doodle doodle doot. You doodle doodle doot. Y'all like being poisoned? You guys look like the kind of guys that like being poisoned. Bum bum. Bum bum. Wish we had that, uh, refresh sword, but we didn't take it. Trash, trash. Here we go. Pierce one, dude. Can we get a second pierce on there? Come on, you can do it, ball. Get up there, baby. Oh, well. Through the shield, at the very least. Be sure to pierce his shield, too. Works for me. And definitely want to pierce your shield as well. Ooh, two piercings. Good, we're back in the orb. And then right through them all. Excellent. Uh, two spinets. I'll just upgrade this. And now the question is, how do we get the most possible relics? 
we save money for this shop instead of this shop, I'm liking that idea. I think what we're going to do is a fight, question mark, question mark, fight, elite, question mark, shop, chest, chest, question mark, elite. I think that's the most profitable path for us. We won't spend any money until we hit that shop. So we're just going to try and save up along the way. So this way, please. <coughs> mm. Ooh. Excellent. Bum, bum, bum. Exclamation marks down there and down there, so... Let's go ahead. Traded it. Get the bomb. Get the bomb! Come on, you can touch the bomb. There you go. Touch it again. Perfect. Oh, this is why I took the thing that makes the ball bounce a lot. Really get some action on the fields. Nice. And a pierce. Swing. Oh, I guess it does a pierce that one, even if you do add piercing to it. Well, let's do a nice slicey dicey pierce with poison. And then one, two. Hi, buddy. And you're already dead. You've already died, my friends. Perfect. Mmm. Adds exploitable, fires from the back. But no. No. Like I said, not spending money until we get to the shop. Unless we see something really good. Like, that's a nice one, but it's not really good. It's just good. From here we want left. Oh. I don't want any of these. I'm good, I got one of those. Please don't, don't screw me on this. It doesn't really matter, but I would prefer left. That way we get another fight for more money. Extra money, not gonna complain. Come on, yes! Good, a bomb in there. Not bad, two down. Want those crits, give me those crits. Give me the crits. Give them to me. Oh, well, money's good, too. Brambled that man. Trash, trash. You know what I want? I want that crit. Actually, it doesn't really matter. The poison gets applied to everybody anyway. More orb games, oh boy! You gotta ponder your orbs. It is crucial that orb ponderage happens. Hello, sir. You seem to be awfully close to me. Tempting as it is. Not doing it. Our goal is simple. Have a lot of money for the shop. How you doing, Skeletor? Ba -boom, ba -boom. Nature's most powerful shape. Mm, 
Keep it alive. Keep it in the air. Don't let it hit the ground. Damn. Playing deathmatch in Space Marine 2. It has a deathmatch mode? I don't know that. Didn't strike me as that kind of game. It's got deathmatch, operation, campaign. Nice. It looks like a fun one, though. Hope he doesn't fall over dead from pull. Oh. Just like Half Life. Good old Half Life. It's still going. Let the orb sleep. Just continue on my way. Just wanted some more money. The science team was very competitive. If that one's ever on sale, I'd probably pick it up. Hey there, Mirror Knight. I remember you from Dark Souls 2. Give you a nice little poison, I will. You'll love it, I promise. No! Put a shield away. It's ain't always serious. Wouldn't mind getting me an on on reload effect after we get rid of some of our stupid pebbles. The double discard means we could try and abuse the mechanic a bit. He chokes his shield back out. Boo! Gotta keep it out of that hole there. No! None of that trapping people at non utility in space like an aperture. Man, I would love a new portal game. Screw Deadlock, bring me more portal. Portal, please. Down he goes. Not even gonna look at him. Don't don't be tempted. Each shot, a random slot becomes a portal that teleports the orb to the top of the peg up to three times. When refreshes and crits move, they leave a stationary copy at their previous location. 
Portal with an LOM. Ah, uh, no, no AI in my portals. <laughs> Only bespoke writing, please. <coughs> Take the pumpkin pie. I like a nice pumpkin pie. I was already annoyed earlier today when my phone texted me and I was like, oh, I got a text from who? And it was Google's fucking Gemini being like, hey, you should use me. You have a Google phone. Like, fuck. Leave me alone. Refreshes the board on every reload. <coughs> Whenever you lose X health, you gain 2X Belusion. Gain Belusion for every coin collected. Detonate bombs in one hit. Walls and bottom bouncers are extra bouncy. Not great perk choices, I'm a little disappointed. Hit enemies debuff by one. There's so much potential. Just in general, I think Portal already has plenty of potential. You get a good writing team, you just let them go nuts. Put it all in there. I mean, it is a new one. I'll take it because it's new. Is there another shop we could hit? Not yet. Uh, we still get three more things coming up here. Hold on to my monies, I suppose. Increases hit enemies debuffs by one. By two, by three. You know, that's a good one. Well, we will grab that guy. <clears throat> I definitely want to go to the right. Woo! The increase, like, bounciness makes navigation scary sometimes. Battle start with five extra monies. Ba, ba. Whenever you defeat a non-minion enemy, gain health. Max health. I guess I could have gone for trying to hit the bombs, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. You're walking down a hall and a pack of brick slimes start to smash down around you. They seem pretty careless, and you think you could trick them into smashing themselves to bits. Hell no, I ain't adding three pebbles to my deck. See you in hell. I will see you in court, good sir. Trying to get rid of these stupid pebbles. Free pebbles, who could say no? I can. Thank you, pumpkin pie. Who could say no fast enough? Much better. Yeah, da, 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 da. Come on, baby. Time to poison everybody real good. Oh, come on. Terrible throw. Out at least. Where's the refresh?
Hey, buddy. It's gonna take 80. Oh, he's, he's super dead. Super dead now. Extra dead. Oh my goodness, he's so dead. This guy doesn't even know how dead he is. This is embarrassing. All right, buddy. Oh, so dead. Crit attack is fired backwards from behind. The enemy applies exploit a ball. Sure, it's a nice one. Let's do it. Another elite fight, you say? More. More relics. I need more. I crave them. Hey, guy in a raincoat. Can we avoid the refreshes for a little while? So far, so good. Pocket you. Ah, we're about to hit him sooner. More poison for you. Hmm. We're up to increase debuffs by two. He's got plenty of debuffs on me, but let's let's add some more first. And now we want to add to the debuffs. Travel to the left. Yes. Mm. All right, bud. Super dead. Only hits, refreshes, crits, and bombs. It's affected by muscurkle spinets and balance. We don't really have those in there. So let's just upgrade you. And upgrade you. And be on our way. Attacks gain plus two plus zero for every crit peg on the board. Pegs have a 5% chance to refresh into bombs. Take Betsy's hedge. Try and get some more coinage. There we go, a nice even seven. All right, ballista bastards. They came from behind. I just realized I'm only at 65 health. I can't get shot by a ballista too often. Like three hits and I'm dead. We could get two on us and we're, we're we're gonna die in the third, I think. If I'm mathing right. Yep, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Thankfully, we have Belusion. Hopefully, that'll be high enough that we'll be all right. 82% chance that we are not murdered. Love for a bomb to get triggered. Thank you. 
very accepting of two bombs. Three bombs even, that's also fine. All right, good, good, good. Good crit, good crit. Give y'all a little taste of the boys. Right, 82% chance that we won't get hit by. Not that they've loaded one yet. Bomb for the guy in the back. A little extra poison for everybody. They've loaded it. This is this is looking scary. Oh, good lord! A hundred percent chance to avoid being hit, though. I can't believe they hit me. What kind of odds are those? Can I please get an estimation mark? Please, yes. Thank God, we're gonna pierce. Give me the bucket! We'll be fine. I can't believe he managed to hit me with that with an 82% chance to miss. What a bastard. Way to really hit that 18%. He's already dead. Now we're just watching a ball bounce for fun. Hopefully into money? Give me these coins over here. Well, that's one coin. I can't complain too much. Good night. Every attack's a crit. Convert the first peg hit into a crit. Convert every eight pegs hit into crits. Does not activate crits when hit. It's actually a little tempting just because every crit we hit is a pierce. This will really help us set up additional piercings. The board will contain 10 additional refreshes, but every refresh is weaker. We want less refreshes, if anything. Refreshes cause our peg to stop bouncing wildly. Can no longer obtain money in battle, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to targets. Is dealt to the target enemy for every three pegs monies you collect? All attacks get plus two plus two, but you have one less orb discard. Now we have a normal amount of orb discards. We've counteracted our starting starting uh starting uh, relic. Me me talk good tonight. Ba, ba, ba. It's the goddamn four cubes. I hate these sons of bitches. They've ruined my last two runs. That's it, revenge. Goddamn revenge on the goddamn cubes. Nice amount of uh, crits being set up for later. Oh, no, it's just dead. Continue. Honestly, an early shop, not not that bad. I think I want to do shop, swing to the right, 
Maybe we'll do a slightly later shot. We could do a fight, fight, question mark, question mark, shop, elite, chest, chest, and then just straight down that path. Is that the best I could do? That's one shop, one elite, two chests. We can get one. We can have three chests, no shops, but that's not very good. A, a shop has high potential for goodies. So yeah, let's let's make sure we hit this shot. Get a little extra money. One thirty-eight. One of my least favorite layouts. Don't worry, I'll get some more uh, crit set up for me. Well, watch it just bounce around. Like, no. No. No healing people, you cheaters. Double pebble removal is pretty tempting. Why did I go for a crit? A crit's way worse out of pebble. Doesn't matter. Peg the box. What's going on, new metal? Hmm. If we double shop, we can remove two pebbles. Not gonna let me look. We'd leave with one pebble left. I mean, I still have a discard. Removing one pebble and having extra money by doing extra fights, I think might be more, more desirable. Maybe, if we even make it the right way. All right, not screwed yet. Eh. Up late being a wild bastard, huh? Wild bastard, eh? Round and round she pegs. Where she lands, I don't know. Oh yeah, this game's great. Just won't stop. Do 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 do. You do need to pick up Peggy. Don't get distracted by other games. Send out someone new to die. Oh, look at it go. That was the Yakuza Overlord. Unicorn Overlord and Yakuza Blader. I do need to play more of both. They're on my list. I know I'm gonna do them. Unicorn Overload especially. I, I really like that one.
All right, all right. Left, left. Unicorn's a bit of a unicorn of a game, even. No! Left, please! Oh, thank God. Yeah, Unicorn Overlord. Great game. <laughs> Why not both? Both is the answer, but Unicorn in particular. Find a forge, hot ready to smelt, yet oddly unattended. You know, I'll just scoop up the, the forge. We did the hammer last time. Whenever an upgradable ward is added to your deck, upgrade and take four damage. All the better. Love it. Imagine slide your satchel to the forge and it disappears in the void. Not sure why you thought this would work, but you're glad you tried it. Shit. Don't fuck me on this. No. Yes. Yes! Yes! We went left! Thank God it's just a fight. Start setting up for next few turns. With lots of crits, baby! Of course, we don't want the pebble to crit. And thus it shall crit. An unlimited amount. <laughs> Dang it. Dang, dang, dang it. You just had to go in the void. You're the worst. Now we just have to go left. Nice. I got so much money to spend in the shop. Glorious. Glorious, glorious! What do we got? Pegboard start with three bombs. Activated refreshes and crits contribute to damage. Board contains an additional crit. Heals six when reloading. A little disappointed with some of the selection. Plus one, plus two for every 28 coins held. Refresh the board. I mean, I got the money. Why not? Damn. Sure. Not a great selection for us. And now we want the elite. <clears throat> oh. Play games with my heart here. Plucky Squire's out tomorrow. I don't know if I know what Plucky Squire is. Zelda like the changes dimensions. Sounds familiar.
Boo boo doo boo doo. Over here, please. How much poison does he have? Up, oh, dead. If I didn't know you better, I'd swear you were planning these throws. No, that's just an illusion. Attacks get an increased damage multiplier based on the number of removed pegs, or the board contains two additional crits. More piercing, I suppose. To the right is ideal. I had to work my way in there. What's going on, Mystic? Do, do, do. Attacks apply one exploitable to enemies or two exploitable on crits. Excellent. X times 10% extra damage. Don't, don't get funny with me there, game. On discard, gain Belusion equal to two times the discarded orb's crit damage. Alright, now we're on the it doesn't really matter path. Damn it. I keep wanting to do an all bombs run. And I never pass up the red bomb. And I blow myself to fuck, yeah, that's how that one goes. How did I get the non-crit damage so fucking high when I have all this crit-specific stuff? How did I do it? It's ridiculous! Out fucking rages. <laughs> I thought I had a lot of friends out here. Where'd they all go? How did this happen? What do I have in here that's like, yeah, make non-crit damage super strong. Plus two, plus two. Plus two, plus zero for every crit on the board. Ah, that's the one. Betsy's hedge. I played myself, but it's fine. It's like, it's bonus damage. If we hit a crit, it's fine, because we pierce. If we don't hit a crit, extra damage. Been loving Rack and Slay. Rack and Slay is really good. We should pop back in there at some point. Alrighty, alrighty. Friendo. Here comes the poison. Well, hundred and fifty. No, they're good. They're good and dead now. Good and dead. I mean, 
What else am I going to spend my money on here? What else has it got to go into? Let's hope that question mark somehow gets me more relics. I crave more of them. Convert more pegs to crits. Well, that was quick. Have fun. Have fun out there, balls. There we go. I knew if I believed it would make it in there. Do, 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 do. Hey, big guy. Now, hold on a second. What happens if I hit these? I was wondering if I could convert them to, to crit pegs. Oh my god. Garbage. Yeah, keep the bouncing going. Yes. No. Put another ball in the rage chamber. Might as well keep the health up. Look at all that money. Oh my goodness. The farm is saved! <laughs> maybe, maybe we stop going in the fire now. Oh, just one more in the fire? Alright, that's fine. Oh, need fire. God damn. Ah, the last question mark was a fight. Boring. Blood for pennies. We are going to get more health because of it, but still a bummer. Let's hope for an event that might get us something neat. All right, poison everybody, please. Here you go, guys, poison. so good at avoiding those refreshes. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> and dead. I guess I could have upgraded my pebbles all the way. Use my money that way. But fuck the pebbles. Just discard them. I hate them. I know H heals. 
One of them is like buffs. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. I was planning on clicking on something. I'm just always gonna focus on bottom lined up for multiple hits. That's the play. Gasso, that first shot, as I said, I was trying to click on their their symbols over here. I didn't intend to shoot to the right before. This ain't my first rodeo with these stupid boxes. I hate these sons of bitches. So much damage. Much better. I want the piercing. Even if we do less damage. Fortunately, that one doesn't do the piece. Clean that box out. Perfection. I almost have you, Healy one. Guess I'll kill that one first. Ah, damn it. What a prick. All right, no more healing. Be my revenge run on this boss fight here. Nice dodges. to hell with you. You're a dead man. You're a dead man, you don't even know it. You stupid bastard. Your death will bring me so much joy. Take a turn, see what happens, you son of a bitch. Aw, oh, poison killed you? There we go. Revenge. Rusa Ball 2 unlocked for this character now. That was a fun one. Three new relics. Do, 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 do. Ba, boo, ba, boo. All right. It's time for me to go hunt down some dinners. But I do like the peglins. I'm enjoying its 1.0 release here. Next time we gotta get this guy's ball started.